Judd, congratulations. An emphatic 6-1 win over Neil Robertson. I'm sure you were full of confidence after a good first round performance, but did you think it was going to be quite as one-sided as it was today? No, not really, especially after the first frame. I think um, he looked good at the start. And even in the second frame, he looked, he looked pretty good. And I managed to nick that, and, and the whole game kind of turned from that. I think um, he started to then miss his sort of 50-50 pots, which he's renowned for. And I kind of just, just cleaned up, really. Most of the frames, um, he let me in quite easy, and, and I kind of just did what I had to do. As you say, you built a big lead today. I, I know at the Masters, it, you let a lead slip against Karen Wilson. That would have been a, a tough one for you to take. Did you kind of draw on that experience and, and were you pleased at how you closed it out so emphatically today? Yeah, I think um, obviously that, that sort of thing comes into the back of your head. And for me, that's probably a good thing now looking uh, on the experience of it now. I, I think um, w when I went back in there, I, I didn't want to take my foot off the gas and I knew... Um, how easy it is for me to sort of win those five frames in a row. So there's no reason why Neil can't do the same back. Um, when obviously you're playing any of the top 16, they can score so heavy nowadays. So I think um, for me, it's very important to get the job over and done with as quick as possible. Ronnie O'Sullivan up next of Friday night in a big semi-final. Uh, it's an occasion that both of you tend to savour. I'm sure it'll be a great match. Yeah, we've played quite a few times here now and... Um, I normally play quite good against him up here, so hopefully I can do the same. I think now I'm a lot happier than where I was sort of a couple of weeks ago with my form. I feel like I, I kind of where I need to be to have any kind of chance to win tournaments again. I think um, tomorrow's kind of a, a no-lose um, for me. I think if I can beat him, then great. If not, hopefully I go out and play well. Just looking at, at your form, it's kind of a, a good time of the year to peak, isn't it? Trying to defend your title this week and the crucible on the horizon. Yeah, um, especially being out of China as well, um, which was a little bit disappointing. But I think now that I am out of it, I, I can go away and have a rest, unlike uh, I haven't done that for the sort of six or seven years. So I think um, for me it's kind of a new experience and, and maybe this will work in my favour, hopefully. And just looking ahead to the Crucible in terms of previous years, where do you feel your game is in leading into the World Championship? I don't know really. I think it's completely different. I think a lot depends on how I get on here. I think um, it's probably not as strong as the last couple of years. I've probably been going in sort of favourite or second favourite. I've been feeling really confident. So I think normally um, sometimes when I, when I get like that, I sort of build up too much expectation um, and feel like I've got sort of the, the weight of the world on my shoulders uh, and that's when I tend to play a little bit slower and, and think too much. So I think in this tournament and last week I'm able to just play with more of a freedom with people not expecting to me, me to win and, and I'm not putting that pressure on myself.